Welcome back. In the previous video, we completed the skills page. And in this video, we can finally move on to the contact page. Well, before we move on to other page, there's a small fix in this page. I noticed that I did not fix the margin of this particular thing. So let's do a quick fix for that. So inside my skills.css in here, the p tag inside skill, let's give it a margin of zero. And now this should fix it. Perfect. Now this is looking exactly like our deployed version. Although this is a little bit different, but that's completely okay, right? Uh, we don't have to clone everything. So it's completely fine. Perfect. So in this video, what I am planning is basically we can create the header and footer in the projects page and the header and footer in the contact page as well and the uh, vector for the contact page as well and if we still have a little bit of time remaining let's start building some other components as well in our contact page so yes contact page is a little bit big so it might take a couple of videos to complete that so for now let's just aim to integrate the header and footer in both of the contact page and the projects page as well so what i want you to do is just open the projects page so here we have the projects.jsx inside the projects.jsx we already have the class name of the parent div as section container so that is already applying the common style to it so what i want you to do now is just put the header so if it did not auto import for you just write this line manually which is import header from up one directory header slash header perfect so now let's give it a heading of my pool projects or my projects in short and then details again i'm going to pop, copy and paste the details from the thing that i have already deployed it is here are a few cool things i've worked on do check them out again you can give it as you want it's completely up to you so it is completely flexible that's the beauty of the project that we are building Perfect. So but now that we have added a header, let's also add a footer as well. So inside the footer, basically we are displaying the text that is check out my skills. Perfect. So let's add this detail here. So I'm going to add a footer link inside the footer link. First of all, the phrase is going to be check out space. The link is going to be my skills exclamation mark and the to address is going to be slash skills and let's close it perfect so now we are done with the header and footer for our projects page this is looking quite cool now the only thing remaining in the projects page are these project cards so these project cards might be a little difficult to implement if you are a beginner but don't worry it's just styling it's just styling it's nothing uh, nothing complicated here Perfect. So now let's go to our contact page and add a header and footer in the contact page as well. Perfect. So I am going to go to my contact page. Where did it go? Yes. So inside the contact page, let's also open contact.css at the side so that we can start giving some stylings to it as well. Perfect. So as you know, it's it's also already defined as a section container. So we can directly go inside this and give it a header. Again, if it did not auto import for you, do import header from the proper location. Let's give it a heading of get in touch. Perfect. And let's give it a sort of details of interested to collaborate. Feel free to get in touch, something like that. So I'm going to copy and paste it from here. You can type it on. Okay, let's it's a short one. Let's type it out ourselves only interested to collaborate. Uh, feel free to drop me an email. Perfect. Interested to collaborate. Feel free to drop me an email. Perfect. And that looks perfectly cool. And let's just add the footer link here as well. So let's see what's the footer link in this one. Let me go here and let's add a footer link. Read more about me. Perfect. So I'm going to include a footer link, footer link. So again, it did not, if it did not automatically import it for you, do import it for your 
uh, from your uh, footer link component as well. So the phrase is going to be read more space. The to link to address is going to be slash about and the link is going to be about me. Perfect. So now this is also done. Get in touch, interested to collaborate, feel free to drop me an email, read about me. Perfect. So let's also add one more component that is going to be our vector frame. So this is going to be the same as you noticed. So we don't need to provide any any sort of styling for it because as you see here, this vector frame and the vector frame in the about page is identical. Although the size is different, but the position is same. So that's why I have used the same class for contact as well. But we do need to import it. So don't forget to import it from your contact vector. So this contact vector is present as, with the name of contact anime, although I should have named it contact vector, but uh, these things happen, right? So just make sure the naming is correct. So I have named it contact underscore anime dot PNG. So do import it from there. I'm going to import it as import contact, uh, let's say contact vector, uh, vector from up one directory, up one directory and contact underscore anime dot png. Perfect. So inside this vector frame, I am going to again given uh, start, load an image with the class name about vector. Perfect. And the SRC I'm going to provide as the uh, contact vector, contact vector. And the alt tag can be just vector or something like that. Perfect. So the thing is, it can't resolve contact anime.png in uh, this. So let's see, it must have been some sort of a error while importing. So as you can see, I forgot to put the assets here. So it should be assets slash. So all these errors, you I am definitely, definitely 100% sure that you are going to face these errors. So you should not give up on these errors. You should definitely, definitely work on these errors and you should know how to figure out and uh, fix these sort of errors. These are very simple errors. Perfect. So now we have also included this sort of vector frame as well. This is so, so perfect. Now let's, before ending this video, since uh, we still have a little bit of time, let's import these social icons as well. This is one major part of this thing. So the contact form we'll do in the next section. Perfect. So let's quickly import our uh, buttons, our images from the assets. So inside the assets, I have already placed a lot of things like, uh, let's say, where did it go? Uh, uh, web.png is for web, insta.png, linkedin.png, insta.png is in, li.png is for linkedin and so on. So what I want you to do is, first of all, I want you to import. So it's going to be a little bit import work. So uh, please, please make sure that you are following me correctly. Otherwise, you're going to face some issues. Perfect. So import GitHub from up one directory, up one directory assets slash gh dot png perfect so that was our first one let's quickly copy and paste this four times one two three four so the next one would be linkedin so the link name of linkedin is li dot png the next one is uh, instagram instagram is in dot png instagram instagram is in dot png the next one is medium 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 is me dot png and the next one is web web is w e b web dot png so now we have already included this so now we can very well add all of our social icons just above our footer link so let me add a comment here social icons perfect so let me add a div and name it social icons container perfect inside the social icon container i am first of all going to have an anchor tag which is going to be of class name social icon and the href can be for now let's say the uh, http s slash slash github.com slash 
Madhav Mehal. So this is my GitHub uh, link. Don't forget to follow me on GitHub as well. Perfect. So now inside this, I am going to place an image with SRC as GitHub. Since we already included GitHub, we already imported this. And I'm just going to have an alt tag of, let's say, social. Na, 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 yeah, that's it. That, that should be fine. Perfect. So let's copy and paste this four times here. One, two, three, four. So the next one is going to be LinkedIn. Link, LinkedIn. The next one is going to be Instagram. The next one is going to be Medium. The next one is going to be Web. And that's it. So in the web, that's pretty easy. So I'm going to add madhavbehel.tech. Perfect. In the medium one, that is also easy. Add the rate madhavbehel. And the starting URL is medium.com. Instagram is also easy. Instagram.com slash the lean programmer. And GitHub is also, GitHub is the same. LinkedIn is linkedin.com slash in slash madhavbehel. That's perfect. So now let's see what happens. So all these are automatically aligned. We just need to have a little more alignment in these things and some hover over effects. Perfect. So these, this is super, super cool. And this is super easy as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly add the social icons container style here. Social icons container. For this, I'm going to do a display of flex, flex direction. Of course, row, you already know why not row reverse it's going to be row then flex wrap is going to be wrap then justify content is going to be center align items can be center as well just to make it horizontally and vertically center perfect and now let's let's style our social icon so the social icon again the uh, filter can be copied from as far as i remember it was there in skills yeah this one i'll just copy this filter uh, thing here and then I'm going to give it a little bit of margin. The margin is going to be 21 pixels Perfect and after that we can also have a social icon hover So the social icon hover uh, Perfect and also in the next uh, section. We are also going to add a contact button So for that also let's that are also going to perform in a similar way whenever we hover over it Although we don't have that class name yet, but still let's define the class, uh, the sort of uh, style for that because that's uh, something that we are of course going to add later on in the next video itself. So don't worry, let's just add it. I'm going to give this eight pixels. I'm going to give this eight pixels and I'm going to make this as 0.32. Perfect, that's it. And I'm going to make a cursor of pointer and I'm going to give a transition of all 0.3 seconds perfect and now just one final thing for small media screens um, only screen and uh, max width is going to be 640 pixels perfect so in that i'm going to provide the social icon a margin of 8 pixels top and bottom 20, 21 pixels left and right Perfect. So now this should do it. Now we are able to have, we are able to see this perfect design as we are able to see it here. This is super cool. Perfect. So now we have already built our social icons. In the next video, let's quickly build our contact form as well. Once we do that, we will have a contact page ready as well. And after that, only the projects page will be remaining. I'm super excited for it. See you in the next video. Bye bye.